All right, everybody, how you doing? My name is Neil Busby, and I'm from uh, Busby Beats, the best online resource for drum instruction. And today we're going to talk about how to set up your Roland, in this case, a Roland TD9 drum module, how to set it up so that your MIDI signals are being routed out of your module, and then you can run the MIDI cable straight into your interface of your computer. So we're going to do that now. It's not really that tough, but uh, I had a bit of trouble when I initially started doing this, and I wanted to show everybody out there how it works. So here we go. Okay, first thing you want to do is push on the Setup button, and that brings you to another window where it shows Trigger, MIDI, and Utility. So what we want to hit is F2 for MIDI. Okay, so now we're into another section here where there's other choices. We've got Global, Control, and Perk, I guess for percussion. So we're going to hit F1. So what we want to do first, now there's all these choices here. Now, through trial and error, you don't have to do the first one, two, three, four of them. As far as I know, it doesn't do anything. But what we want to do is change Local Control, which is the module, to off. So you just switch it to the left so that it goes off. And the same thing with soft through. Off. Now local control determines whether the trigger sounds go into the module and then fire off the roll-in sounds within the unit or the MIDI is routed out through the MIDI out and then you can go into your uh, interface. So we want to shut those off. Okay, easy, right? We're going to go out now, exit, exit again. Okay, now we want to set up our hi-hat so that it is doing the same thing. It is functioning so that the signals are going out of the module this time. So we're going to go to setup, go to MIDI, and this time we're going to go to control. And you can see it has MIDI control, pedal, CC, foot, all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, what we're looking for is hi-hat compatibility. So we've got TD9 slash TD20. Of course, the newer modules, they got different numbers. It's all updated. But I think it would probably be basically the same thing. So we're going to switch that to external. Just like that. Okay, click it off. And you're ready to go. All you got to do now is uh, have an interface where you can run your MIDI cable in, fire up some recording software. I use Cubase. Have a drum module that you're going to trigger the sounds from. I usually use Stephen Slate Drums SSD4. I haven't found anything better than that. So now you're ready to go. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.